because coming here, I said to my husband, I've been, I've been nervous for like weeks, weeks knowing that I was going to be doing this. I was like, oh. He's like, babe, they're going to love you. They're going to, don't worry about it. They're going to love you. And I was like, you don't understand. I'm not Terry. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, there, there might be, I don't know, they might throw eggs at me. I don't know. I can't be sure what they're going to do. I don't and think we let them do that here. You know what? I was pretty sure that they were going to do that anyways. And so I was very nervous, and I was, I was so sure that someone was going to go, you yeah, suck, or something like this. And it was so much polar the opposite of where I thought it was going to be. Everybody was just so generous that I, I just, I feel like 13 years of, of pressure of, I don't know, I wasn't Terry, has just been lifted off my shoulder. And I just go, you know what? There's good in absolutely everything. It, you know, it doesn't have, I don't have to be Terry. And I love Terry, might I add. She's, oh, she's so And your favorite part of being Sailor Moon? Favorite part? Um, I loved the goofiness. I loved the foolish teenager that she was. I loved that whole, that whole yin-yang of, of being a child and then having to go into that adult world where you, have, you were so responsible. And then they'd go back, and you know, they, she was just, she was just such an idiot. She was just so much fun, and so goofy, and just, oh, come on, you guys, and oh, what are you doing now? Oh. And I just, I love that. And, and now that I've got teenage daughters, I see it in them, and I'm just like, oh, and I can so relate to what, what they're going through, you know? They want so badly to be so responsible, and, and I'm so, I'm so cool, and oh, I'm, I'm a grown up now, and yet, there's still those goofy little kids inside. Okay. What do you think is your favorite character that you've played in your career? I play a witch in Cyber Chase called Wicked. And I love playing a villain. L villains never ever win. And they will, they will die trying. They will do anything they can to try and win. And they will, they will just pull out the card. They will just fight. And this particular witch, Wicked, was just supposed to be in one episode. She sort of came in. She, well, hacker, look at you! Oh! Well, actually, you look kind of hot. And so she was just, you know, she just sort of had all these ups and downs, and her voice would just go so crazy. And there was no, there was no limit to where she could go. And they let me do what I wanted for it. So if I was doing a line and I was just on a roll, I could throw in another line. Like I could just throw something in and they would just go, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll keep that, we'll keep that, do that again. Okay, I love that. And so that, it ended up being that that one-off one that I was only supposed to do one episode, she ended up becoming um, the main villain hacker's love interest throughout the series. So I would come in and out of these episodes, and he would either be in love with me or I'd be in love with him, waiting for him to marry me and stuff. And we were both trying to destroy the world, but we wanted to do it for ourselves, you know. I, I just, I love that character. I love it. Have you heard about the new Sailor Moon anime series that they announced? I heard Japan? a lot. Oh, in Japan. Yeah. No, I don't think I know. So there's going to be there's going to be a new anime series. Um, they haven't really announced what it's going to be about exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but if you could say how it would be done, what would you like to see done differently with the story in, in a new Sailor Moon anime? Any comments on the aspects of the character you played in Sailor Moon? and any areas you'd like to see explored. Wow! Oh, you're tough. <laughs> She's tough. Hmm, what would I want to see? Um, you know, the last SS one, I, was, I wasn't a... I liked Rini. I liked having her around. But I thought it became sort of too naggy in a way. And, and so I would like to sort of see that sort of a little bit shoved aside. Like, Rini's fun to have around, but... Um, I wouldn't. I don't think I would have put as much emphasis on that. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. How often do you see former Sailor Moon cast and crew members at your work today? Oh, I see Katie a lot. I see Emily Claire um, sometimes. Susan sometimes as well. Katie seems to do a lot of. Uh, we both do a lot of um, of commercials as well. So we're always at auditions and stuff like that together. So, and then, and Duke it out. <laughs> she's so funny, she makes me laugh so hard, oh my gosh, she's so neurotic, she's just, she's hilarious. And then Julie Lemieux I see a lot as well. Okay. Um, and uh, I 
showed you some of the new merchandise. Have, have you already gotten some of the new merchandise yourself? Collection. No, now I'm going to. I'm getting a belt. There's not a question about that. And then my daughters will steal the belt, so I'll get another belt. And I've got three daughters, so let's just say I should just order four belts. And then there's my husband. <laughs> but also some of those buttons, too. I like the sizes of them. They're nice and big. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have mm -hmm. different sizes of them mm -hmm. as well. Um, okay. I, I know you've been mentioning over the course of the weekend, um, about your, your children watching Sailor Moon and, and how uh, one of your daughters would follow you around the house when you were playing the role. <laughs> she was so cute. And we heard at your, your panel earlier this morning that you were saying how they've kind of like changed their opinion of, of the fact that you were a voice of Sailor Moon by what, being as here. As this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> your mother's a rock star. <laughs> now do you know? I've been telling you that for years. Why don't you ever listen to me? Why? Why? Yeah, they're, they're quite funny, although that'll last about an hour. And I'll say, whose turn is it for dishes? And they'll go, what's your problem? Why do we have to do dishes? What's your problem? Like, I'm a rock star, that's what my... <sighs> yeah, they're, they're quite funny that way. My, my eldest daughter went to Japan about two months ago. And she was chosen one of 20 kids to represent Canada. Um, to go over to Japan and see um, all of the efforts to rebuild um, after the earthquake. And it was a really big honor. So they prepped for it for months and months and months, and each kid had to pick some specific part of the Japanese culture to talk about. So my daughter said, I'm, I'll talk about anime. And I was like, great. So she had to do this, you know, little half hour, hour talk to her kid, the, the other kids and let them know what it's all about and everything. And, and so right before she was going to do it, she said to me, um, so, Mom, do you, uh, do you know anyone who worked in Sailor Moon? I'm like, really? <laughs> well, I kind of know Sailor Moon. Uh -huh. And she said, Mom, you know what I mean? I mean, somebody who really worked on it. <laughs> in with the good air, out with the bad. Uh, you know, she started talking about maybe the guy who worked the boards, the engineer or something like this. I'm like, I said, are you? Are you even going to mention to them that I did the voice of Sailor Moon? Like, do they even know that? And she said, I don't care. I don't know. No, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't know. So a while later, I see the teacher who, who ran the whole thing. And I said to him, thank you so much for all the work you've done. You're, you know, this is so great and everything. And I, I understand that you run the anime club. And he said, yeah, I do. And I said, well, I don't know if you know this or not, but I was actually the voice of Sailor Moon. And he goes, <gasps> Really? Oh, I said, I'm Linda Valentine. He said, oh my god, I had no idea. Madeline didn't say anything. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, she does that, eh? She does that. Eh? <laughs> oh, that rotten kid. <laughs> so now, maybe after this weekend, maybe she'll give me some kind of credit. Doubtful. So you don't really get credit for being Sailor Moon? Zero. I get credit for zero. Not even giving birth. Nothing. 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 I make a great apple pie. No credit whatsoever. <laughs> Are there like other characters that they get attached to that they? Honestly, their fans. Those of? kids are just evil. They're evil. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're very cute little kids. But uh, they are really very unimpressed by their mother. They just sort of go, oh, "This is because this is what I've done. I do. This is all they've ever known." You know, like I said, when they were little little babies, they were coming to auditions with me. They were sitting there waiting for me, just like, "Oh God, she's just stop talking." So. No, they're not that impressed. And my, actually, my eldest daughter, Madeline, has also done a few voiceovers, too. She, she did a cartoon as well, so. What's it like seeing one of your, your daughters go and, and get into acting? Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. It's terrifying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's not that. I just, I, my attitude is, you know, she's like, I think this is what I'm going to do. But she, part of it is she's sort of going, this is easy. Yeah, I think I'll do that, too. What the heck? We'll make a little bit of money doing that, and we'll see what else I want to do. The struggles of actors, they, they, you know, they haven't seen that much because I've done really well. I've been really, really lucky. And I'm like, you don't understand. Like, when you're not working, it's, it's awful. And mm -hmm. that's what most actors go through. They don't work very much at all. Okay, moving on. Yes. <laughs> so, Kotono Mitsuishi, who is the Japanese voice of Sailor Moon, uh, has tried to make Sailor Moon sound a little bit older and a little bit more grown up last few years uh, when she's been shooting small clips for new products and, and TV commercials. 
not for the new series, but for re-airing the previous series and movies and, and for merchandise. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be a challenge to make Sailor Moon sound a little bit 